Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skill Tone. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about three fantastic research tools that is going to be a fabulous, useful for your research paper writing. And I'm sharing with you because these tools are helping me. I'm pretty sure these tools will help you for your research paper writing very easily. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The first tool that I'm going to talk about is called the R Tutor. Many of my learners are asking that, Doctor, I would like to know R programming, but I'm very afraid to learn R programming code. Is there any platform where I can use R programming code without learning a lot of R programming? Yes, there is. And this is called the R Tutor. This is a fantastic website where it generates R code automatically using the chat GPT 3.5 it is integrated with that and all you have to do upload your data ask any questions and it will help you to create anything that you want using the R programming code you do not need to learn any R programming or R programming code however you can still get the outcome of R programming and its analysis so let's get an example for instance, you can see if you go to the rtutor.ai and if you see in the platform, this is the, it looks the platform. Here, there are a lot of data already given in this platform. So let's assume that I'm going to take a data set, MPG data set. And from over here, I there are some example requests already given. So if I say I would like to draw a box plot using the ggplot package, okay, you say tidyverse package ggplot all i have to do i am asking use the ggplot2 to create a box box plot of highway versus type color by type and add zitter points and just submit and let's see how this asking question gives us the result you will see a fantastic nicely looking diagram already appear in front of you without knowing a single code you are using R programming within this platform for free and getting the outcome very easily. If you would like to know R codes that how this nice looking diagram created, you can still have the code over here and you can easily understand this code by learning the R programming and you can understand this code very easily. I have many R programming tutorials and guidelines in my channel. You can refer to that. But if you don't want to learn those things, still it is okay. You can easily get the same outcome without learning anything, any R code. Okay. So the next one is if I say that I would like to create a pie diagram and what I have to say, create a pie chart based on type. Okay. Let's say I submit this and see how it works. Within a very short time, it will create a nice looking diagram for you a pie chart for you and you do not have to know how to create this pie chart or what are the code behind this pie chart you can see that the pie chart is over already here and it gives you how many seaters are there mid-size car pickup what are the suv all these types are given over here using the pie chart now if you may ask question doctor you already share some of the sample data and with the sum of the sample questions what if i have my own data set and i would like to ask few questions based on my own data set can i do that yes you can do that and how you can do that very simple you just have to upload your data set into the r tutor.ai just hold on a second now let's use our own data set for instance from file upload you can go and check what type of data i have i already have a meta essential correlation data meta analysis descriptive statistics let's assume that i would like to use the meta analysis using this particular platform this will give you what type of data i have you can check integer character numeric numeric just close this one because you are satisfied with the data type if you if you are not satisfied change the data type you can do it very easily over there now you already upload the data set data set is over already over here now what you have to do just ask do meta analysis and find out 
funnel plot okay this is what i would like to get from this platform using my data set because it's a metadata information now my question was find out the funnel plot using my metadata right and the data i already uploaded the find out the funnel plot once i asked this question i did not do any coding but still i got the results all these studies given over here the fx size are calculated the funnel plot are created so you can see over here anything that you would like to ask with your data set or sample data set the r code will appear and gives you the results you do not need to learn anything the platform will give you everything you just have to understand what this result means okay now the second tool that i'm going to talk about is called the sci space ai this is a very nice platform for your literature review and also to understand any complex mathematical equations or tables for instance if i go to the sci space typeset.io or sci space.com i already have a link in my video description box you can click that link you can go to the sci space and go to the copilot read with ai and upload a simple paper let's say this is the paper that i would like to know more about uh, for my literature review okay so all i have to do is upload it in the sci space okay using the sci space copilot and as you can see the analysis of factors influencing ipo underpricing on companies listed in the indonesian stock exchange so if i say summarize the introduction of this paper just press this question the sci space copilot will summarize the introduction of the paper without making any problem and you can see over here it's already come the paper discusses the factor that influence the level of ipo underpricing and companies listed on the indonesian stock exchange from 2015 to 2017 so this will give you a detailed information about the introduction of the paper so let's let's assume that there are some complex information given over here right so let's see this is the complex equation right so there are some places let's say explain the math okay so this is the table that i would like to know more about it and over here it will give you a table you can see explain the text and now you already take the picture of this and the size space copilot is now explaining what it is it gives you all the detailed information about the picture that you have uploaded what a wonderful software right it gives you everything that you need for instance this is the one that you would like to know so just copy the whole table and drop and automatically it will go to the sci space copilot you don't need we don't need to understand any of this this will give you all the information in detail all you have to do know how to interpret it what is the meaning of t statistics under 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 standardized coefficient standardized coefficient everything is given over here nicely so you can just have to read and understand and that's it you are good to go the final tool that i'm going to talk about is called the scriber scriber is very nice tool for citation generator all you have to do go to the citation generator and you will see there is a reference if you would like to change the apa to harvard just simply click this one and you can see over here you can drop down there are lot of citation over here let's assume that i am sticking to the apa 7th edition and all these things i already click the save the changes i mean this is the referencing style that i want okay so this is okay now let's assume that i am i would like to cite this particular paper by created by this particular scriber website now just cite this one and scriber will give you this information you just press this one and voila the information that i already press the whole citation the bibliographic citation is created for me and the in text citation also created for me by the scriber so all you have to do copy this information insert into your bibliographic list copy this one insert into your in text citation so this is a fantastic tool for you to create the citation so these three tools one r tutor for r programming learning number two sci space for literature review and understanding the important and complex mathematical tables and then 
create the citation generator in order to learn how to generate citation without doing any manual work. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like this video, you can share with your peers and hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.